one of the most fundamental distinctions which shows up everywhere in people talking about research methods is the distinction between qualitative research and quantitative research. In some cases, people will talk about qualitative and quantitative research as belonging to totally different paradigms. And sometimes they'll talk about them as having a single logic. Sometimes they'll talk about them as having different logics, but compatible ones, all sorts of different things are uh, go happen all over the place when you're talking about qualitative versus quantitative research. The emphasis I want to put for you for the purposes of our conversations is that qualitative and quantitative primarily refers to types of data and then the analysis performed on these types of data. Qualitative data is data that exists as words. Right. If it's not naturally words, it can be converted into words. So, for instance, you can uh, say that this cat, you know, she's not a word. She is not a word, but you could use words to describe her. Gray, fluffy, insistent, many words. Right. And so, therefore, that sort of information about this cat is qualitative data. It describes her qualities, not whether she has is quality, is a quality cat. Are you a quality cat? But that she has qualities, right? She has uh, things about her, right? On the other hand, quantitative data is numbers or something you can convert into numbers. Again, this cat is not a number. This cat is not a number, but you can convert her into a number such that she is three years old, right? The age of this cat is three or uh, the weight of this cat is, I don't know, but it's a lot or the number of hairs on that cat is too many, right? The point is you can get that information, right? You can take the things you need to know about the object you're talking about and use that as a number, right? You can use, as you just saw, qualitative and quantitative approaches to talk about the same real world phenomena, right? I wasn't describing two different cats when I used words versus when I used numbers to talk about it right? But I was getting different information each time I did it. So for some purposes, one type of data makes sense. For other purposes, another type of data makes sense. For mixed, for other types of research, you need both, right? So two really important terms to get the difference between is mixed methods and multi-methods research. In mixed methods research, you use both qualitative and quantitative approaches. You use both of them because you're gonna get different information from both of them and you want to kind of triangulate between them in order to understand. But multi-method research, you're just gonna do more than one method, right? You wanna get more than one type of information. You might do um, one to a survey and you might do an experiment and you might do a, a content analysis all of which are techniques that can be used as uh, quantitative ones, right? Or primarily quantitative ones. Or you can conduct an ethnography and a document analysis and a arts-based research project simultaneously, right? Those are all qualitative techniques and you're just doing more than one method, right? So understanding this distinction between qualitative and quantitative, it's pretty straightforward and you need to know it and you need to be able to understand it, but you also need to understand all it's telling you is whether you're using numbers or not.